Hey guys, welcome back. We uh, found the lost city in the last one, we just didn't go to it, so. Here we are. As per usual, looking for the way out. This time we're looking for Claw Viper, er, Valley of Snakes. Just went dark, because that's part of the Tainted Sun quest. Uh, so, we're looking for the waypoint, Valley of Snakes exit, that's about it. Extra areas in here are the ancient tunnels. Good for hell and nightmare farming, but not so much for normal when you're just trying to walk around. Of course, there is an argument that I could be going in uh, side areas to get a few extra levels. But, not sure if I will bother. I can't curse possessed guys, I'm pretty sure. Which might have been what that one leaper was in the last video where I was having trouble targeting him. Could have been possible he was a champ. Um, I can't recall now. That could be true. Uh, there is a super unique here. It's Dark Elder. He's a ghoul or a zombie or whatever the hell you want to call him. Marauders will come back as invaders during the Arcane Sanctuary quest. Fire Eye or Red Eye, or whatever the hell his name is, he'll be uh, the super unique guarding the portal. So, yeah, let's just keep walking. Surprised I haven't found a cellar yet. Usually one near the uh, near the ruined areas. Plague bears, so he might be here. There he is. Probably gonna level after killing him. Your fast zombies, and, uh, the fuel of your nightmares. Uh, we can get blood golem, but that's not gonna really help us. So I'm just gonna get my six skeleton. Right out of Dark Elder's corpse, cause I don't care. Our uh, damage is going to keep increasing by percentages, so we should steadily get more and more uh, skeleton damage here. I'm debating whether or not I'll go down in the ancient tunnels just for a bit of XP. I don't think we need it, but you never really get punished for overleveling in this game, so. I know our, uh, our paladin did a bit of tomb leveling before Duriel, because I was scared, but he had a legitimate issue, I suppose, so does this character. Summoning necromancers arguably have issues with bosses. That would be their weak point. We're up to three mages temporarily. Because, uh... We got the skill shrine. They'll explode shortly, I'm sure. Here is the waypoint. I am gonna guess the way to the Valley of Snakes will be up the ladder. Not ladder. Staircase. Those are not the same thing. I'm going to resummon him so he's a higher level. Again, I'm pretty sure summons aren't retroactive. I 
it definitely gives you a glimpse of uh, what a few plus to summoning skills or a few to plus skills in general can do. I don't know how much bigger our, our Amplify doesn't seem like it grows at all. That does not seem much bigger than what I'm used to. And there goes our plus to skills, so I'm just going to grab this now. sure it's not on the edges here. I guess it's up here. Although it could be over here. You never really know. Looks like it's on the side. So let's keep going. Almost running out of stamina. So here's the ancient tunnels. Um, it essentially just looks like um, the sewers, and it kind of plays similarly. There's some um, embalmed, there's skeletons, there's uh, zombies. Now, the main advantage of it for um, for hell and nightmares, you're against uh, relatively slow-moving enemies. The area is above average for monster level, and um, there's not many lightning immunes for someone like, uh, say, uh, Meteor Sorceress. She, she would she would like being down here. Or sorry, there's not many. Only uh, uh, there's many at lightning immunes. There's not many double uh, immunities on fire or cold. So you can either meteor meteor slash fireball or frozen. That is what I meant to say. That almost I said the opposite. But yeah, essentially there's there's good resists here. The guys are pretty slow. You can you can kill them fairly easily. Uh, there's nothing down here, of course, like I said. This is just an optional area. I'm just gonna kill it, because... Why not? I don't think I've actually done many of the optional areas. Um, in the past. Like, I think I did... I did the cave on the Paladin. I remember that, because I remember fighting Cold Crow. Uh, I don't think I'd ever did the pit or the hole or anything like that. And, uh... I don't remember doing almost any of the... Um... Act 3 extra areas. Act 4 doesn't really have any. Oh, I did go through that one in Act 5, the, the demon portals. I remember... I remember I went all the way through it, and then the, the magic chest at the end is locked. I didn't have any keys. I do remember that. So, yeah, this is a decent area later on. Similar areas are the pit in Act 1. Um, stuff like that. Usually people like going here and in Act 1 because the mobs are simpler and easier. Um, and yet they still, these optional areas are usually a higher level than average than what their the rest of the areas are like. So that means you still get to roll um, high on the loot tables or whatever, the, mo the monster level tables. I'm sure I botched that explanation, but you get the point. Higher than level, higher level than average units, but not overly complex or late game units. So we cleared that out. That was like what half a level, something like that. So who knows? Was it worth it? You decide. But um, 
Arcane Sanctuary is usually the place people level prior to uh, the tombs. Both of those areas are pretty good depending on your character build. One of those is probably better than the other as far as how to, how to fight. Uh, as I've mentioned before, Arcane Sanctuary is a little tighter uh, as far as monster spacing. So if you have, say, Sorceress Lightning, like the actual bolt, that would probably be better in uh, in a Arcane Sanctuary environment, while well, like uh, maybe Charge Bolt, like my assassin, she might fare fare better in the tombs because there's more space. That's debatable, though I'm sure. So, in any case. We got the waypoint, right? Yeah. Okay. There's no waypoint down here. Only two, uh, two levels. The snakes can hurt. They cast, what is it? Sacrifice and charge? Something like that? Two fairly high damage moves, in any case. So, try not to pull the corner yourself. Let your summons do it if you can. I'm gonna pull them into the room here. I guess I'll go up this way. Kill the guys. Watch out for the trap there. Send in the next wave, as it were. Looks like there's a cursed guy back there. Him. Can see his boss. We want to be careful with ourselves because we have amp damage on us, um, which only increases physical damage. So, like the dark bolt hitting me in the face, I'm pretty sure that's magical. Okay, so, level two, gotta be careful for the uh, salamander and the boss one, he's like, very fast fire enchanted, is that correct? I always forget. But, as you can see, we uh, have no real issues just meat grinding all these salamanders to death. Good job, skeletons. Now for the boss. There he comes. Lightning enchanted. Okay. That's, that was pretty close. Let's let our guys tank it. We lost a few in the crossfire, but not too bad. And kick this. So the uh as I've said a few times, the Amulet itself actually isn't that bad. It's pretty good. The problem is usually you need to fuse it to uh, to actually uh, continue the quest. I was beginning to enjoy the darkness. Our necromancer pal is getting really edgy with his quotes, and I should probably get rid of some of these. I can, I can keep around like one or two, but. I don't need, don't need a ton. Probably get rid of this because we're not a caster. We don't need the uh, boost. Blessings to you. Exit. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while and immediately leave. And sell things. So, that.
that does it for these quests. I've been so, we're going to be on to the Arcane Sanctuary in the next one. Which will lead to the Summoner, and then Duriel is in our near future. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.